Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you it is really cloudy and overcast. It has rained here for the last two days. But it's got everybody growing really happy and soaking wet. So, even though we've kind of slowed down just a little bit and it's been raining for a couple of days, we've still got plenty of work done. And um, I'm going to jump down here in the shop and I'm going to show you what the boys have been up to. Okay, so I was walking down the steps to head to the shop and that caught my attention. That is my beautiful dogwood out here at the corner of the house and she's just about in full bloom. But, you see my little hedgehog down there? But... I couldn't help it. She's so pretty. I had to take a nice picture of her. But let's get back on our way to the shop. Okay, the boys have been really busy. And actually, it was so chilly yesterday morning, they actually had to um, turn the furnace on and warm the shop up. Until it got so warm in here that um, they had to turn it back off. Those things really do heat up well. But show you a little bit of what they're doing. They're getting all these sockets and outlets put in here. And jump across the door. That's what they were working on yesterday. And um, looks like they got started on a few over here by the window. But, um, it's really early in the morning, and, um, I thought I'd sneak out here and get a before picture to show you what they've been up to. And, um, I did show you the other day that, that right there, those are the outdoor lights on the back porch. But, that's what they are currently working on, and have been working on all day yesterday. But I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to flip around here with the camera. But I'm going to I'm going to shut it off for just a second. And uh, I'll be right back. Hey, I've got my handy dandy favorite ladder in the whole world. And I'm going to jump up here for just a second. Because it's kind of hard at my height to show you what they've been working on. But if you can see, they've cut some notches out up here to run the wire across the top of the doors. But they're going to finish working on that today too. And um, I'll just be honest and tell you that the saw that they use to cut those out really scares me. and. Um, <clears throat> I would prefer to not be around when they use it. And they've been working on this breaker box. Get back down off my ladder. And they've been sorting and labeling and working on this big bundle of wires. They have been very, very, very busy. And that wire goes up through the ceiling. I think there's another one over here that does too. Yeah, that one goes up through the ceiling too. But it's an awful lot of real complicated, meticulous work. And I'm not going to pretend to be able to understand all of it. I've never wired anything before. But I do tend to like to come out and um, get nosy and see what they're doing. So. Yeah, that's a lot of complicated work. But um, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. And um, I'll take you upstairs and show you what I've been up to during all this rain. 
But before I go upstairs, I came back here and um, wanted to look at this garden. You can see the mud puddles and stuff over there. And what I got planted was the Indian corn and the beans and some sunflowers. And they're not up yet. It's only been uh, a couple of days. See the puddle in that back corner. But with that much rain, and um, actually it's going to rain today too, it's not going to take corn and green beans very long to come up with, with all that good rain. But I do kind of wish I had been able to finish planting it, but um, I might be able to get out here maybe this afternoon or tomorrow and finish that up. But with all that good soaking rain, I'm sure those beans are just about ready to jump out of the ground. couple of minutes here of gratuitous garden scenes and I'll show you this there has been a naughty birdie over here and um, has taken the top off of one of my actually two of my new pepper plants so I have to replant a couple of them and you know they do say that if if you're not sharing your garden with something outside then you're not really gardening so I'll do a quick look at the hairy potatoes are popping out of their buckets the beans are going crazy the tomato and peppers down there are Happy, the three sisters buckets, the okra, the squash, and the little tiny carrots. Oh, and I wanted to show you something on the peas too. Look, they've already got pods on them. And anybody who knows me or watches the channel for a long time knows that I cannot resist fresh peas. And I eat them straight out of the garden. And they're even taller. But now that I've wandered off after I told you I was going in the house to show you what I've been up to, I guess I better start heading that way because I'm so easily distracted. But... Hold on a second and I will actually get into the house and show you what I'm doing. Okay, well I said I was going up in the house to show you what I'd been up to and I actually made it here without getting distracted again. But that, the, the beef and the chicken in the boxes is what I did the day before yesterday. And that's all that I did yesterday. Um, let's see. That's chicken. And that's beef. And all of those are chicken. And there's nine more beef in the back. Um, that's 24. I've been really busy trying to get... Um, all of the chicken and beef canned up and um, those right there be eight cans here um, actually these are all the scraps and they are cat food that I leave um, I take all the trimmings and um, all the fat and I put it in jars and I can it up just as it is. I don't add anything to it. And the cats really enjoy it. But there's six jars of... No, there's five. There's five jars of um, chicken cat food. And there's three beef. But actually, I've been doing so much canning that you can see those last two are wide mouth pints. 
I have actually went through all of the the remaining regular mouth jars that I had. So, I mean, that cabinet back there is, is full of jars too. So I've got plenty of, of lots of good stuff um, canned up. But, probably will have to go get more regular mouth pint jars. Which is kind of funny because I have a, a room with a cabinet upstairs and a shelving unit full of jars but right now most of them are quart jars I have gone through all of my regular pint jars but um, in a couple of days I'm going to um, maybe not today and I'm not sure about tomorrow but in the next couple of days I've got to um, do a bunch of pork too so I'll probably have to use um, the wide mouth pints to do that because I doubt I'm going to get to town really soon to, to get any extra um, regular pints but that's what I've been up to and it made for a very long day yesterday all of that took me about 12 hours about three canner loads and the kitties really enjoy the cat food but it does help take up a little space in the can or two if you're one or two jars shy of a load you can always throw it in there and um, I make sure it doesn't have any bones or anything in it but it's just the little trimmings and all the fat and the fat's really good for their fur so it keeps them happy and um, it makes sure that nothing goes to waste but yeah, I've been, I've been really busy. Okay, so I promised you a clip of what the boys have done today. And they have finished a series of sockets. And we're going to cut across the door. Show you that series of sockets. And um, I try to work my way around the ladders here. And they have been diligently working on that series there. And if we follow this up above, now I was on the ladder earlier this morning to show you this, but the ladder has all kinds of stuff on it, so I'm just going to going to show it to you from my perspective. That's where they knocked the little pieces of wood out of the top. And they brought it clear across the top of the door. Try to show that a little bit better. And they brought it down here. all the way down and that is coming over here to these sockets and I know at some point that Mark wanted his really nice welder to be hooked into those so we'll be kind of watching as those progress because that is a really complicated thing and um, I know they absolutely want to do it right. So I'm just going to leave it here. The boys have been really busy. And um, just kind of go back over it a little bit. For anybody who's ever done electrical, I'm pretty sure you know how intricate it can be. And um, I am not one of those people so I just admire every little thing that they do as they do it and I just want to show it off so just kind of come back down here and look at it and I'm really proud of them because I know that's a whole lot of work but I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and I'll be back to talk to you in just a minute 
Okay, so that's all the foods that I have for today. And um, they're still uh, growing on with the garden. And um, we have a lot of things in the works. Um, the boys have been really, really busy today. And, um, and it's been rainy for a couple of days. And um, it rained a little bit today and there's a chance of rain tomorrow. So, I don't know, it's kind of a give and take because um, I didn't get quite everything that I wanted planted, but the things that I did get planted are really going to enjoy all of this rain. So, hopefully tomorrow I can, the chickens are putting in their two cents worth, but hopefully tomorrow I can get a little bit more planted. And um, the boys have been really busy in the shop and yeah. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff that I can't do. So I've been really busy in the kitchen and um, we've managed to get an awful lot done between the three of us and really grateful for all of that. And we are really grateful for you for putting up with, with our kind of sporadic um, videos lately. But um, we're doing everything that we can a little bit at a time and um, kind of working a little bit more at our own pace this year and I think I think it's working out very well um, I would like to get a little bit more planted in the garden tomorrow and definitely with all the rain if you can see behind me over here the grass definitely has um, enjoyed the rain too so we need to be working on that but anyway I hope that um, Today's video finds everybody healthy, happy, and safe, and our hearts definitely go out to those who are experiencing the flooding right now. Now, um, we have experienced quite a bit of rain, but we have not flooded, thankfully, and um, right now we're just really happy for the rain to bring up, you know, everything that, that we have planted, and the temps are going to come up back in the 70s tomorrow and back into the 80s from there on out. So the good warm weather will be really good for the plants. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. And we've had a couple of wonderful days. And um, we're very, very grateful for your patience right now. But if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Um, don't forget to ring that little bell to let you know when we put out new videos. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything you might have on your mind, please put it in the box below. And um, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And remember, we love you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.